So there's this group of friends of mine. We're not geographically close or anything, but they're great guys and we all get together a few times a year for some low level motorsport, some, some club level stuff. That's quite unusual in this connected world where you get a group of people coming together instead of just sharing everything online, but that's what we do. And we share stories, we share beers, we share laughs, we share problems, you know, we break bread, that sort of thing. There's probably tens of thousands of people like us across the world on any given weekend enjoying what to them and to us is a hobby. Not for us the dizzy heights of uh, touring cars or Formula One. Nope, we run cheap ass cars in amateur race series and we mainly do it for the crack with our mates. My name's Darren Langeveld. I love motorsports and I like getting together with my friends and going racing. Personally, what I love about it is the time that I get to spend with this specific group of mates who I wouldn't otherwise see, but you have to wonder what motivates other people, especially when you see poor driving and unsportsmanlike behavior on track. You surely have to question yourself when either trying to pass or being passed you as a driver reach into that little bag of talent that we all carry by our sides and all that's left in your bag is that little card that says ram them off the track punt them off seriously if you're under pressure as a driver and that's the best you can come up with there's no place for you in this sport the stakes are just too high when I realised this was actually going to be an incident, I had only two thoughts. Firstly, my wife's going to kill me if I crash today. Then, when I realised I was just a passenger headed straight to the impact and it was going to hurt, I thought of my kids. At this point, the standard reaction for most people around the sport is, that's racing. Well, that's not racing, is it? There's no skill in pulling a move like that. There's no, there's no art, there's no creativity, there's no sportsmanship in just simply running people off the track. More importantly, I've got to remind everyone watching about the need for great safety gear, especially a hands device. I'd hate to think what had happened to me in a head-on collision with a pit wall if I didn't have this on. Yeah, they're expensive, especially on top of all the other safety gear we have to buy before we even turn a wheel on track. But trust me, if you're preparing to go racing without one of these, you're not really prepared to go racing at all. What happened to me wasn't something I'd ever considered possible, you know, deliberately being rammed off the track at such a dangerous point. I dread to think what the outcome might have been if I wasn't wearing my hands device. And I've got to say a big thank you to the lads at Aaron's Autos for building such a strong car. Nothing in the safety systems was compromised, nothing failed. It did its job perfectly, which is mainly why I'm sat here telling you about it now.